Today we're talking about grief. And unfortunately, unlike other videos we've done, it doesn't have six simple steps. It's hard. This is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. Before I get into the solutions, I want to talk just a little bit about the problem, grief. You know, grief isn't something you get over. It's not something you get through. It's not something that time heals. Grief is something you carry. It's something you evolve into. I like to think of it like being born. If you think about it, you were in your mother's womb, you were floating in this beautiful warm liquid, you, you heard muffled sounds and you heard your mother's heartbeat above you and life was pretty darn good. And then all of a sudden the liquid was gone, you were pushed up against the sides of the walls and then pressure and your head was getting squished through this little opening and then you, there's some guy standing there, often a guy, maybe a woman, and she's yelling, push, push, push. <laughs> and there's bright lights and craziness all around you, people scurrying around, and you don't know what's going on, and you probably just start crying. But over time, you got used to the bright lights. You compensated for the noise and the confusion and the chaos. And that's like grief. You know, the world doesn't change. The world didn't change for the infant. It's still that bright, noisy, crazy place. But you evolve into it. You figure out how to manage it. And that's what happens in grief. In grief, your loved one, your deeply dear loved one is gone. It is oddly permanent. When you love somebody deeply and they die, it's a permanence you have never experienced before. It's very weird. You'll never see them again. They're never coming back. And that is hard to get your head around. It's like those bright, bright lights and those very unaccustomed noises to that infant. But over time, you evolve into it. You find coping mechanisms for it. You won't get over it. You won't get through it. It won't be easier. You'll develop mechanisms for managing it. There's a beautiful book on this type topic by Megan Devine. It's entitled, It's Okay, You're Not Okay. Or something like that. I may have butchered the title, but it's a very good book. I'm sure you can find it from that description. And she describes really in detail how, unfortunately, people are ill-equipped to manage the pain and emotional grief of people. And so they often back away. And that's certainly what happened in my case. And of course, being human, I responded in anger, which didn't help <laughs> at all, as you might imagine. And I lost many friends over it. Many friends, dear friends. And grief is like forgiveness. It's hard. Forgive, you know, to forgive is to untie. You're trying to untie the negative emotions that hold you to a past. Lily Tomlin once said, um, you know, forgiveness is giving up all hope of a better past. <laughs> if we could only do that. And, you know, Mentally, I, I've forgiven. I, I get it. It's difficult to manage someone else's extreme emotional state. But emotionally, I haven't. I'm still wounded deeply by being abandoned by people that were closest to me. Fortunately, I have a wonderful family and a wonderful new relationship. In fact, you know who that is. It's uh, Elizabeth, uh, my partner here at Just Be Well. But I'm making this video not really about me. I'm making this video hopefully to help you. The raw, difficult, extreme emotional state of grief is confusing for people. They think it's depression. They think you should just snap out of it, get over it, get through it. It's not going to work that way. Grief has its own pace. Grief will do what it does. 
and there's not much you're going to do about it. Sure, you should manage it your best you can. You should meditate on it. You should think about it. You should dig into it. You shouldn't ignore it. You should live it honestly. But it's going to take the time it takes. And some people, they're, they're stronger than I am maybe, or they're more enlightened than I am, and they get over it faster. Other people, like me, it takes a long time. And it'll happen at its own pace. I made a drawing of grief. I'm going to show it to you here. It looks like a scribbly circle. And you're just going around and around and around and around. It's like you're caught in the orbit of a black hole. And then you try to escape and it sucks you back in. And you try to escape and it sucks you back in. And you try to escape and it sucks you back in. Hopefully, eventually, you evolve into it so you can carry it. And then you can be emotionally available again, start to re-engage in the world, maybe enter into a new relationship. And you have to remember that love is infinite. There's no beginning, there's no end, and there's always enough. So you don't have to give up loving your lost ones. When your grandmother dies, you don't stop loving your grandmother. When your spouse dies, you don't stop loving your spouse. You just have the capacity to love every bit as much. Because you can love everyone in your life with your body, mind, heart, and soul infinitely. Because there's always enough. So just remember that. There's always enough. And you don't have to choose. It's not disrespectful to your deceased partner or your mother, or your daughter, or your son. If you engage in life. You know, in early in grief, people say things, well, what would your spouse want for you? Well, we all know what our spouses would want for us. A, a, a committed spouse who you really clicked with, they want you to be happy for the rest of your life, right? But that's not always easy for the grieving. There's survival's remorse, there's guilt, there's this sense of betrayal. But those are all in our own mind. Your spouse doesn't think that. Your spouse wants you released, wants you to heal, wants you to evolve into this new life. So as you're along your grief journey, remember, love is infinite. You're not going to get over it. You're going to love that person forever and for always. But there's enough love, and you can carry it. It just takes time.